kids to take over this world, which is kind of a mess. And we need to give these kids tools. We just put them in a hole in this country. We just saddled on top of them three million, three trillion dollars in debt. At least we can give them the tools to shovel themselves out of that. Now, Will Allen, on Sunday, there's an ABC special that combines Hollywood sport and engineering. Tell me about this hour of television we've got coming up. So, um, it's shining the light on the kids that are dedicated um, in technology, science, mathematics, and thousands of um, teams who built and letting them shine. The and uh, so other kids can see that it's cool to do this. It shouldn't be an underground movement. It should be the most popular movement in America. Indeed, how important is it to get somebody like Will I Am? It doesn't get much cooler than him. I mean, short of having my endorsement for your project, this is as good as it's going to get. How important is it to you to get somebody like him who, in one swoop, can basically get to millions and millions of kids in this country? You answered the question yourself. He can do it in one swoop. By some standards, first is an enormous success. I started it 20 years ago as an experiment, and I had 20-some-odd companies that adopted 20-some-odd schools. And it doubled the next year to more than 50, and it doubled the next year. But now we're 20 years out, and by most standards, we're bigger and more exciting than any science fair. And by most standards in our culture, having thousands of schools and 90,000 volunteers is pretty good. But by a standard not of academics and school, but a, the standard of our popular culture, virtually nobody knows about first compared to the people that know about the superheroes of the world of football and baseball and, and, and entertainment. So I said from day one, if we can make our event every bit as exciting as any other sport or any other entertainment, and we can prove to kids that it's accessible. Yes, they have to work hard, but you have to work hard to be good at basketball. It takes years. We said, particularly if young women and minorities could see just how exciting it is and what the possibilities are, and they could see that real professionals could believe in them and help them, we could change their future. And now we're in our 20th year. It's a big year for us. And when I get this unbelievable call out of the blue from an icon of what makes things cool and popular, and he says, how can I help? We sucked him in. Now, here's an interesting thing. Uh, talking to the pair of you for the last 20 minutes, it just struck me, you're the perfect guys to ask about this economic malaise that's engulfed your country. Yeah, I mean, well, let me start with you. And When you see figures like $14 trillion in debt, when you see the debt ceiling has to be raised even higher, what do you think? What do you think of America as a business model right now? It goes over my head because I can't comprehend it. I don't know how we got there. I don't know how... I don't know why we don't have jobs. All I know is the people that create jobs are companies, right? Visionaries, um, investors, uh, leaders of industry. I don't know if, last time, last time I checked, I don't know if government makes jobs. Dave, what do you think? I agree, as usual, with Will. I'm, I'm not a politician and I'm not an economist, but I can tell you uh, one thing that I'm sure would help. There are enormous problems out there. Global warming, you believe it or you don't believe it, you still want jobs and technologies that will replace old technologies with better ways to make it. But when, I see, when I see what you're doing, for example, is it all about now new technology? Should that be where America leads the field? Progress has always depended on innovation. And these days, most innovation requires that you have advanced capabilities with technology. Again, whether you're curing diseases, that's going to be science and technology, whether you're dealing with energy problems. You can't name a major global or problem in this country that doesn't require some new technology to solve it. What we need is the world's best, most competent, most motivated uh, kids to take over. And in the next generation, this country's got to get back to leading the world. It's what creates the jobs. It what solves the problems. It's what will ensure our security. 
but a lot of kids in this country that have all the raw talent and all the raw capability to become the next generation of innovators are distracted in our culture and they don't develop the skill sets they're going to need. We got a global competitive environment out there. There are 6.3 billion people. Mm -hmm. We're the point three. We're three. We are the global rounding era after the decimal point and yet we want to have leadership in quality of life and standard of living and security. If 300 billion people want to retain global leadership when the rest of the world is focusing on science and technology and education, the kids in this country have to become superstars. All of them do. Or they're not going to see the next generation be a step up to a, to a higher bar. Well, I completely agree. I think first is a brilliant idea. I think the combination of your geeky genius <laughs> and his impresario brilliance is a winning formula. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. nice to see you. And don't forget to tune in to I Am First, Science is Rock and Roll, which is Will I Am's and Dean's brilliant collaborative show on ABC, 7 o'clock, Sunday night. Coming up, Bryce Dallas Howard. She's Ron Howard's daughter and used to be babysat by Tom Cruise. She's also in the hottest movie of the summer, The Help.